Now we head to Ukraine, where the fate of two Americans remains unclear. The men, both U.S. veterans from Alabama, they were allegedly captured by pro-Russian fighters. At the same time, there's also no word on the whereabouts of a third veteran, a retired Marine captain. News Nation's Kelly Meyer is live in Washington. And Kelly, you just spoke with one of the few Americans who really has some idea of what those captured men are going through. Yeah, that's right, Nicole. We're getting brand new insight today on what these men might be going through from someone who was held hostage himself, Jason Resny, and a journalist who spent a year and a half in jail in Iran, falsely accused of spying. He called it living through a nightmare. And he says this situation is different for these two Americans captured in Ukraine because it's happening in a wartime. I don't imagine that they're being held in, in very friendly quarters. Um, I, I doubt that they're being given access to, to adequate medical care. I came to understand that in any one of these cases, it doesn't matter who the president is, it falls to the president of the United States to make the ultimate decision of whether it, that government, our government, is going to do the deal that, that is required to, to bring people home. And this is Russian state media footage from five days ago showing the men alive, 39-year-old Alexander Druki and 27-year-old Andy Wynn. The two Americans volunteered to fight alongside Ukraine and were believed to have been captured by Russia or pro-Russian forces. Putin's spokesman says the Geneva Conventions wouldn't apply to the two Americans. That's an agreement that says all prisoners of war must be at all times humanely treated and any unlawful act of omission by the detaining power causing death or seriously endangering the health of a prisoner of war in its custody is prohibited. And the State Department says they have been in direct contact with Russian authorities, but they don't have any details on where these men are. And they called on the Russian government to live up to their, quote, international obligations and treat those captured humanely. We're also learning that the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, was speaking with families of detained Americans from across the world. We don't know yet if the families of those two Americans captured in Ukraine were among those he spoke to. Nicole. Well, you know, Kelly, we were just looking at that video from a few days ago of those men. But, you know, what does the situation look like for the Americans right now? And, and how can the U.S. try to work to get them out? Well, we just spoke with a former Canadian ambassador to China who successfully negotiated release uh, there. He says the longer the time drags on with Russia, they'll want to justify taking them as prisoners. He says they could be t detained for a long period of time. They could be held for trial, then not have the proper means to defend themselves. So he says the sooner that the U.S. can intervene here, the better they must do this as soon as possible. Nicole. All right. Kelly Meyer live for us in D.C. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.